Welcome to eConcepts. Today I will explain the Delphi method step by step with the help of a real case study. Sales forecasting of a new mobile phone mode will be conducted by using the Delphi technique. Let's move forward with a small intro to the Delphi technique. The Delphi method is a consensus building approach where experts provide anonymous feedback and opinions through multiple rounds of questionnaires until a consensus is reached. So the core purpose of the Delphi technique is to build a consensus of expert opinions on complex topics. And for that, multiple rounds of questionnaires are held. Let's discuss the Delphi process shortly. The Delphi method aids decision-making through structured analysis. It starts with choosing a facilitator, finding experts, defining the problem, and reaching a final conclusion through multiple rounds of questionnaires. We are going to discuss all these steps with the help of a study problem. Here is the study problem. A company is launching a new smartphone model and wants to predict the sales targets for the first year of its release. So we want to forecast the sales of a newly introduced smartphone in the market by the Delphi technique. Now let's delve deeper step-by-step step to reach the final conclusion. The first step in the Delphi technique is to choose a facilitator. The facilitator collects expert opinions, guides communication, ensures anonymity, summarizes responses, and aids consensus without bias. It is helpful to have someone familiar with research and data collection. Here are some characteristics of the facilitator. He should be neutral, good at communication and feedback compilation, and should have subject matter expertise as well, so he knows the problem too. With regard to our study problem about smartphone sales, John Smith, the senior market analyst, is designated as the facilitator. He is expected to guide and gather opinions to reach a consensus on sales targets with subject expertise and impartiality. Now the next step is to identify experts. The Delphi technique relies on a panel of experts who provide valuable opinions on the problem under discussion, contributing their knowledge and expertise to help reach a consensus. Experts are usually subject matter experts, industry specialists, academics, researchers, consultants, and thought leaders. In the case of smartphone sales forecasting, a diverse group of eight experts has been selected, comprising market research analysts, sales managers, product managers, and marketing specialists. Let's review the following table that shows the number of experts from different fields having relative knowledge. For example, we have two sales managers who are experienced in sales management and distribution challenges within the mobile phone sector. The rest of the cases are almost the same. You may review them for better understanding. The third step in the Delphi technique is defining the problem. The problem shows what we are trying to understand. The experts need to know what situation they are commenting on so ensure you provide a precise and comprehensive definition of the problem. Below are some characteristics of the problem. It should be precise and specific, should deliver measurable outcomes with clear scope boundaries, and should be capable of iterative refinement to reach a consensus. In the case of smartphone sales forecasting, our problem statement is to accurately estimate the sales targets for the newly introduced mobile phones in the market for the first year of its release. Now we come to the practical exercise of questionnaires. In the case of smartphone sales forecasting, responses from the experts are collected for estimating sales targets for the newly introduced smartphone based on factors like market trends, competitive landscape, pricing strategy, marketing efforts, customer preferences, and target demographics. First, we have round one of the questionnaires. You need to ask general questions through a questionnaire or survey to capture experts' views on future events. After that, collate and summarize the responses, remove any irrelevant material, and look for common viewpoints. Now, I'll show the possible responses of our experts in the first round of the questionnaire. Remember, experts were asked questions based on factors like market trends, competitive landscape, pricing strategy, marketing efforts, customer preferences, and target demographics. So here are the five responses that we got from the experts. I want you to stop the video screen and review them closely. Some predicted strong initial sales because of its innovation and competitive prices, and some thought that the social media market could increase sales. The thing is, we have different opinions and we want to narrow them to build a consensus. Now we move to the next two rounds. Based on the answers to the first questions, the following questions should delve deeper into the topic to clarify specific issues in round two. 
These questions may also go out in the form of a questionnaire or survey. Again, collate and summarize the results, removing any irrelevant material and looking for common ground. Remember, we are seeking to build consensus. Round three is usually the final round, but it's not the rule. You can have any no of round greater than two to build the consensus. Our final questionnaire aims to focus on supporting decision-making. Here are the final responses of round two and round three. I have skipped one step and written the final responses. Here, the experts tried to forecast the nearly possible number of sales of smartphones based on factors including market trends, competition with rivals, pricing strategy, marketing efforts, customer preferences, target demographics, and data that we have in our hands. Different number of sales was predicted by different experts and all had some solid reason behind it. For example, someone agreed that keeping the market response and initial pre-orders in mind, we estimate we can achieve approximately 500,000 unit sales in the first year. The same is the case with other responses too. Now we have some clarity to reach a conclusion and act upon our findings. Once the Delphi process concludes, the results are analyzed and used for decision-making, forecasting, policy development, or any other purpose defined in the study's objectives. And here is the final decision that all agreed upon. After analyzing the responses from rounds two and three while considering the experts' revised estimates, the consensus among the experts suggests a sales target range of 550,000 to 650,000 units for the first year of the newly introduced smartphone. This range reflects the expectations, market dynamics, and factors discussed during the Delphi Technique exercise. The company can use this information to make an informed decision and set a realistic sales target, taking into account both the ambitious and conservative estimates provided by the experts. That was all from my side. I hope you have understood the concept. Please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourself. Thank you so much.